way back in training this afternoon. How big a boost is that for you, and how ready is he to start the game against Brighton if selected? Still, we need to wait tomorrow to assess him. Is we will be part of you know, the the squad. Today was a, a recovery day for everyone, and it's difficult to judge today if he's ready or not to play. And tomorrow we are going to see if he is ready or not to be part. Is is possible to help the team, or, or maybe we need to wait a few days more to to involve him in in the competition. No, we are never going to um, <clears throat> to put ourselves or our um, um, I don't know interest in front taking risks to, for a player. Uh, it's just that is impossible. After uh, four years, you know very well that we never we are going to take a risk and put in a risk a player because we need to win football. You need to win, and the most important is all the players that are going to be on the on the pitch. We need to feel that they, they are one hundred percent. And and of course, football is a is very um, is a sport that uh, always you assume assume the risk, but uh, no. Uh, conscious. If you are conscious that you are going to take a risk, um, impossible for us to take a decision. And, 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 and after that, something wrong happened when you knew that it's a massive risk. No? It's the first time you've experienced three defeats in a row as, as Tottenham manager in, yes. in your time at the club. What have you said to the players since Tuesday night? No, I think we were happy because the performance was good. Until 85 minutes, I think uh, the team played so well and deserved to win. But it's so thin, the line, and and that was again us. Um, I think in the way that we concede the first goal and and on the end that can happen in this situation. Um, I think uh, disappointed with the result, but of course uh, happy because the team improved a lot. And I think it was our best uh, performance the, uh, from the beginning of the season. And that is, uh, is a very good signal that we are in a, good, in a very good way. Um, only we need to recover our trust and confidence. Um, and of course, uh, winning games is the only way to recover that. Yes, it's true that we concede a lot, and um, it's a thing that uh, we talk a lot. At some time, when you talk a lot, it's like you put the focus, and when I arrive the moment, happen again, no? Because you create uh, like a trauma, no? But of course, um, yes, understand trauma, trauma or no? Trauma, 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 trauma. 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 Sorry, my. Um, um, I was talking about set pieces. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, uh, yes, uh, we need to be strong because I think the game that uh, we lose, uh, yes, um, in the way that we concede the goals is, is, is so painful. But it happened in football and we need to, to be strong and our belief um, it's so important to keep our belief. I'm sure that we are going to to win in games. Uh, a great opportunity Saturday again, Brighton. When there is a, a small run like this of, of deep through, there's always a lot of talk around the club. There's been a talk about Tottenham and things come up like you know, stadium delay and no signings in the summer and you know, individual player contract situation. What's it like to be manager of Tottenham at the moment? How, how do you find the balancing act? I am so relaxed. I am so calm. Do you know? Because I know very well football. And I know in the same time when you win, you get a lot of prize. And sometimes you don't deserve. When you lose, you need to keep the balance and accept the criticize and accept that uh, they are going uh, to be uh, or the people is going to think different. And of course, uh, trying to find the reason why we lose, that is, the, that is how I understand uh, football and I accept 
that situation is going to happen. That is why the balance is the most important. When you win, you need to keep the balance. And when you lose, you need to accept the criticize and, and, and of course, keep the balance too. Depend of uh, everyone. I think uh, it's impossible to everyone uh, read or everyone read more or less or listen more or less. Um, everyone is different. Um, I think our objective is to keep uh, the focus in in and to have a very good balance in between all that appear, all the perception, the our reality, trying to show the reality, how we think and how we see the scenes. And that is for me is the most important. I think the, the group is okay. The group is, of course, is, uh, is a little bit anxious about to win games because it's normal when you don't win, uh, um, the face are different and the atmosphere and the energy is different, but that happened. Sometimes it's, it's, it's good to feel the painful the defeat, not only one, two, now three. I think it's so important to to be clever and, and be strong. Uh, football is like life. Uh, no, it's impossible to keep uh, uh, 70 years uh, happiness, uh, uh, keep the happiness. So always a period up and downs. In football, it's the same, up and downs. And it's so important to to learn from that period. Um, and to keep calm is the most important. You were asked earlier in the, in the week about the, the changes you made to the team for Tuesday night. Do you see then more changes coming for the game? Yes, the yes, of course. Is that, is that what you're thinking behind that? Is that the, the it's the plan, it's the plan. Uh, we have a plan. Uh, and then you win or you lose. And... Um, but the plan is uh, to help the, the player to um, to arrive in some moment and, and they best. And of course, uh, the circumstances are completely different. I told you before I start the season that the, that is a massive challenge this season because uh, the circumstances are completely different than uh, in the past. And of course, uh, the same when we won again Newcastle, Fulham or Manchester United that we made changes and rotate and help the team. When you lose, it's the same. Um, when you win or when you lose, you need to have a plan and to try to deliver. If not, uh, you cannot change because you win or because you lose. And that is the most important. And if you are strong on the end, you are going to success. And if you change, it's difficult to success because uh, you cannot work day by day. Look, Hurricane is one of the best players that we have, um, and that is no doubt. And of course, after three games that he, I think three games, no, he scored the last game against Manchester United. Three games, it's not too much. It's not too much. It's only three, three games that uh, he didn't score. And uh, I think all the strikers suffered some period that you no know, score. And, um, but of course, because Harry Kane is so important for us, and if he no score, we struggle a little bit to win, but um, it's because he's so important player for us. Of course, um, um, I no doubt, I don't have doubt that he's going to perform better in the future and he's going to score goals because he's a great player. Yes. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, hindsight has been looking being able to... Eh? Ah, looking back. Um, and the present and the future it looks good. No, no, it's not a problem. With hindsight, would you, do you wish now you could have bought a few players in the summer just to give some of these players a little time? Or less? No, no, no. Look, I stick with the decision that um, we made in the past. Now it's easy to blame uh, or to regret about different things. That is the easy way to take and escape uh, and avoid the responsibility. I am not going to avoid the responsibility. I am not going to regret. Always, uh, in my mind, always we assess everything that we made 
because we want to improve, but the circumstances are the circumstances and the decision are the decision. And uh, after Manchester United, it uh, was completely different, the perception and the, um, and the opinions. And after three defeat, uh, after three victory, and now after three defeat, um, all um, uh, seems different, but no under my, my eyes. How big a game is Saturday? How like another. All the games are important. Um, I think still is on the beginning of the season. It's many things to play. It's many things to improve. It's many things. I think the potential of the team is massive. Um, of course, always is important to stop the, the, the negativity about the result. But I think it's no doubt that the, the team is going to, to take good result on the future, on the next. If it's not in the next, it's in the next. I try to explain. Uh, I was before uh, explaining to our chief scout because say, oh, I, I, uh, it was difficult for me to understand. No, I say explain again. I think. Uh, <laughs> the most important is to be clever and improve and, and learn from the experience. That is the, that's it. That is the analogy. I try to find another analogy. That was, um, I didn't want to use, but I used because it was a question. I remember that was to use the, the karaoke that you didn't pay too much karaoke in the, the past. But I think, um, no, I try to explain that the experience, uh, you can win only with experience. You need to keep your your lever and demanding and uh, the exigence um, because when you achieve, if, if you want to achieve again things, important things, it's not because last season you were good, you are going to be good. You need to build again your present. And the only way to build is working hard. And you know very well, you write an history today, but with the effort from today or the experience to read today is going to help if you put the same effort tomorrow and read another article. And it's not easy in football because in football you play well, but you need to prepare yourself to play in the next game and the next game and the next season. If you want to, if you today you win, to win tomorrow is, is important to, to be ready again, not because you play well yesterday, you are going to play good tomorrow. And only I want to explain that. The experience is, is so important if you are clever. That is the most important. Like people say, um, when the people price you, uh, make weak. I say yes if you are not clever. And again, if you are clever, you become strong because everyone likes to, uh, to be priced. But if you take in a very good way, make it stronger than weak. If you are not clever, yes, because you say, oh, the people think very well about me. I don't need to do too much because the perception of the people is fantastic about me. I am a great manager. But, hey, come on, you need to show every day that you are great. No, yesterday because you win, I don't need to show nothing tomorrow. That is when the ambitious and, and the mentality and the focus, and if you want to win, win, uh, the winning team, the winning players uh, have that uh, had or have uh, that mentality. If not, it's impossible to win and to success. Okay. All right.